to ruin the auto show for one specific automaker. General Motors is in the sights of the Canadian auto workers. Of course, they're upset after the announcement of the closure of the Oshawa, Ontario plant. Today, the workers union is promising some type of disruption or uh, action at Kobo Center. Nick Monticelli joins us now live this morning outside of Kobo. And Nick, any clue as to what this demonstration or what it might be? You know, we don't have any idea, and we tried getting those answers yesterday. Many reporters did in a press conference with the Canadian Auto Workers Union, but they say they are going to be doing something every day, and it will be impossible for GM not to know what's going on. So whether that's outside, whether it's inside, whether it's around downtown, something is going to happen. The new Toyota Supra. There have been parallel storylines ever since the auto show kicked off this week. Yes, the reveals and the new shiny cars, but also more and more reaction to General Motors announcing it would unallocate plants and cut 15,000 jobs. Lawmakers saying they'll focus their energy on ways to bring those jobs back. We're not going to stop uh, and just say, oh, it's the cost of doing business or yeah, they'll just go make blazers in Mexico and that's fine because that's the way of the world. We need General Motors in Hamtramck building electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, whatever is coming next. But the fight across the border is still about keeping the current jobs. There's a large Canadian contingent here from Unifor, Canada's auto workers union, after the decision to close the Oshawa assembly plant in Ontario. Yesterday, that union president issued a cryptic warning. This will be the worst auto show that General Motors will ever face in their history of the auto uh, shows here in Detroit. He didn't outline specific tactics like potential protesters, but did say... We have a series of events planned to get General Motors' attention. General Motors wishes we would just be quiet and go away. The chances of that happening are zero. Now we have started seeing some of their campaign here in downtown Detroit, some rolling billboard trucks with their messages on it. But again, we don't know exactly what is planned for today or tomorrow or Friday. We're live here in downtown Acoba, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.